Okay, so let's continue because I think it was frozen when I was just introducing the area. So just to remind you. To find the area with respect to to uh, to y, so I'm gonna do this one. Find the area of the region bounded by x equals y square and y equals x minus 6. If we graph these, x equals y square, so at 0 it's 0, when y is 1, x is 1, when y is negative 1, x is 1, so it's gonna go open sideways, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then at uh, y equals x minus 6, at 0 it's negative 6. And at 6 it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So basically it's going to go like this. And the area looking for is in the squad. So we want this area. If we do upper, so from x equals 0, this is going to be x equals 9 actually because square root of 9 is 3 and 6 minus and minus 6 is 3 so they intersect at that point. So if you do upper minus lower up to 6, up to 6, it's going to be area upper minus lower 0 to 6 it's going to be y equals square root of x remember this is y equals negative root x because if you square root you get y equals plus or minus because you want y as a function of x so if you do that from 0 to it will be x to the one half minus 0 which is the x-axis and then from 6 to 9 it would be upper which is square root of x minus lower which is uh, x minus 6 so minus x plus 6 dx if you integrate this you get 27 over 2 units square so we had to split it up but if you do sideways if you do sideways with respect to y the smallest y value is 0 the highest y value is 3 and then it will be right minus left right which is x equal y plus 6 and left is x equals y square so it'd be easier 0 to 3 right y plus 6 minus uh, x equal y square so if you only get that it'll be y square over 2 plus y minus y cube over 3 between 0 and 3 so it's 27 over I'm sorry 3 squared is 9 9 over 2 6 times 3 is 18 27 over 3 is 9 so it's 9 over 2 plus 9 which is 27 over 2 of course the same as the other answer okay all right here's another example find the area between x equals f of y with y times 2 minus y and x equals g of y equals negative y. So if you graph these two functions, you can see the functions of y, x equals y times 2 minus y, uh, y equals 0, x is 0, y is 2, x is 0. And it's a parabola that opens, it's negative y plus 2y, so it's going to open sideways to the left. So it's going to be somewhat like this. And then x equals the negative y is 0, is 0, when y is 1, is negative 1. So it will be somewhat like this. And they cross a 0 and another point. Let's see where they cross negative y squared plus 2y equals negative y. 
plus 3y equals 0, so you cross have y equals 0 and then have y equals 3. y equals 0 and y equals 3. So if we want to integrate sideways with respect to what, we're going to go from 0 to 3, that's where they cross. We're going to do right minus left, so area is from 0 to 3. The right curve is negative y squared plus 2y. And left curve is negative y dy, which will be integral from 0 to 3, negative y squared plus 3y dy, which is negative y cubed over 3 plus 3y squared over 2, be 0 and 3, which is 27 over. Uh, uh, 2 minus 9, which is 9 over 2 square units. Now the next one on page 7 star in the notes, that's for you to work on. So make sure you go over that. It's already done for you. And now I want to do the last one, which is 26. 56 is an application. I want you to go over that on your own. It's done. But 26 page 443. So we have y equals cosine x, y equals 2 minus cosine x, x is between 0 to pi. Let's see what they want. 26, it says it's the region bounded by the given curve and find the area. You can do your, uh, your calculator. Uh, if you graph it on the calculator, you're going to see the outer. So minus the inner, the right minus left, 0 to 2 pi, right minus, uh, or outer minus inner, so it will be 2 minus cosine x, minus cosine x, dx. Let's see why it's this. And 0 to 2 pi, uh, so here is the graph. So let's do, let's do the window 0 to pi and let's do a pi over 2 unit on, or pi over 4 and then the y is 2 negative 5 to 5 okay I gotta grab the functions hold on so I gotta do y equals uh, 2 minus cosine x And then at cosine x. So this is 2 minus cosine x. This is the outer or the upper, and you can see cosine x is the lower or the inner. From 0 to 2 pi, that's where they intersect. Now, if you want to see where they intersect algebraically, you could set them equal if you want to see that algebraically. You can set them equal to each other. 2 minus cosine x equals cosine x. 2 sine x equals 2 cosine x equals 1. So between 0 and 2 pi, it's at 0 and it's at 2 pi. That's why. Okay, so when you integrate this, it would be uh, 2 minus 2 sine x from 0 to 2 pi. Integral of 2 dx is 2x, that's minus 2 sine x between 0 and 2 pi, and you end up with 4 pi square units. And that's it for 6.1. 6.2 is uh, optional, but we're still going to do it, and I will see you then. Have a good evening.